Next, what we're going to look at is the quotient rule. Uh, quotient rule basically says this, quotient meaning division. So if you're taking the log base b of m divided by n, where uh, what you're taking the log of is basically being divided, you can break this up. So log base b of m minus log base b of n. Again, see the connection between exponents? If we were to take this n and move it up here, it would have a negative 1 exponent. So kind of keep that in mind. If it's in the numerator, it'll have a positive coefficient or if it's in the denominator, it'll have a negative coefficient. And again, when we do condensing and expanding logarithms, this stuff will go both ways. So we'll use this to expand logarithms and make it look like this, and we'll use it to condense logarithms and make it look like this. Let's look at a couple examples. So log base 7 of 19 divided by x. So what we'll get is we'll get the log base 7 of 19 and then minus the log base 7 of x. We can't simplify either of these. 7 to some power will give us 19. We don't know what that's going to be. It's not an integer or a rational number. And then since we're doing uh, x there, we can't simplify it. Uh, on the next one, we'll have the natural log of e to the third, and then minus the natural log of 7. So on this one, we can actually simplify because the natural log has a base of e, it's understood to be a base of e. So the base of the logarithm and the base of the exponential function are the same. So that will cancel and leave me 3 minus the natural log of 7. So again, if it's in the numerator, positive coefficient, denominator, negative coefficient.